Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Indoles and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. Um, so I've done some work off camera and as you can probably tell by this and that, I died again. Um, the stupid wisp came out and he got me. So we're going to put this in the house. Um, I make this kind of a ritual of every time I die, if I have my head still, I'm going to put it there. So I can kind of keep track and everything. But yeah, a wisp killed me. Um, so the good news is I have most of my stuff. The bad news is, ugh, I hate those. We're going to go over there in a minute, but you'll see why in a sec. So the good news is I have most of my stuff. The bad news is the thing I lost was my frying pan. I, I have some gold leggings now. Uh, I don't remember when I picked those up, but eh. Um, so yeah. I need to make a new, um, a new weapon. And... I could go with another frying pan, but I don't really want to. Um, I think what I want to make. Uh, hmm. Because all these are going to take two more stencils, which isn't a big deal. Um, Let's go ahead and make. I didn't even think about this, so. I don't want the lunge. Repair would be good, but. I think I want to just make a, a normal broadsword. So I'm going to need white guard, handle, and sword blade. So. Sword blade, white guard, and I'm going to need stone at least. So I think if I use the stone, it'll work. Let's find out. No. Um. I guess I'm gonna have to use another rack. Which is not something I particularly want to use, but I, I really can't choose too much. Be too picky, anyways. Um, let's throw. You know what? Let's grab all that crap. And let's throw that in there, that in there, that, that. That goes in there. That goes back in there. Um, we'll go ahead and make it out of uh, nether rack. So we'll make two things in nether rack. Uh, do I have any more lava in here? Oh gosh, yeah. Um, so I've showed this before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I do want one more bucket of lava because we are going to fight another blaze once we have a weapon. So, um, you go in there. And once it comes becomes night, we should be able to harvest the, uh, The, the the thingy the, the ender lily seed so yeah it's a sword and I have another X shard so I can repair it later which is good I just have absolutely no space for anything um, we are gonna need this later so let's just put all that stuff in there and this part I'm a little worried about because I'm afraid that coming over here is going to be what 
gets rid of my audio, but we're gonna kill a bunch of these guys. That is a peck. Holy crap. Lots of items. Yeah, so we got another modifier. We got fire aspect, which kind of sucks. Alright, real quick, I'm going to go sleep. I let the monster spawner kind of build up again. And then we shall see if we can't harvest the ender lily. Um, so, something else that happened while I was uh, working off camera, I have enough diamonds to make, yay, um, I have enough diamonds to make the builders want, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'll show you guys what that's all about. So, we only got one, but that will be good enough for now. Um. I don't know if this is going to grow or if it's going to take time, so I'm not actually going to worry about it. For the time being, I don't need Ender Pearls as far as I'm aware. So, uh, it's to use Vacuum Hopper, piece of obsidian, Ender Pearl, and a hopper. Super easy to make. Um, but. First, let's get rid of a bunch of this crap. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's juice that. And put that in there. that looks like that? No. You know, for the time being, you can be in there. I need wood. I need two pieces of wood. Alright, let's make this vacuum hopper. Oh, I need to make the hopper first. Alright, I don't think it's... So we put this here, I break this, and make another chest, actually I want to make a double chest, so, and for the time being, and let's see, there we go, everything will go in there. And this is essentially automatic. Automatic, automated. So let's turn in that quest. And we, oh my gosh, and that unlocked a whole bunch of stuff that we've already done. So this is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, let's take the right one. Alright, the next quest was to make a steam dynamo, which we already made for the... Uh, the squid over there, so we'll just claim that reward, and then a pulverizer, uh, let's take that one. We get a diamond hammer, which is really nice. Um, this diamond hammer has fortune 3 on it, it's going to turn all of this stuff into a lot more. So I can just literally just let that go, and I'll just keep giving it um, gravel. And eventually we will set this up completely, but it's not going to be in this episode. Um, because before we do that, um, before we set it up, I want to expand. And there's a couple things I need to do before that happens. I'm going to set that in there for right now. Apple's going to go in there. Ooh, great reward bag. All the music stuff. All right. This chest just got really full. Uh, the radio is really cool. But not the most useful for me. Um, throw those in there. We got two good reward bags. Punji sticks. And a titanium fishing rod. That's actually pretty useful. 
Um, but again, I'm running out of space. Again. Uh, we can repair the bow. And... Yeah, let's take the iron nuggets and put them in here for now. Alright, so... Next, we have to make an auto packager, which I will do, just not quite yet. And then a whole bunch of uh, plastic stuff. And honestly, I'll probably go after the ender lily seeds, maybe the tomato. I don't know which one of those I'll go after. Um, but let's go ahead. Uh, let's clear out this again. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is just to kind of uh, improve my sword. Hopefully get some uh, good modifiers on it. But it doesn't look like there's too many mobs that want to do anything. So... Uh, well, it's really close to the next level, so we might just hang around. There we go. Reinforced. That's okay. Um, let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, before I do anything else, let's go ahead and... Craft the Builder's Wand. So this is by far the coolest thing. Um, to give you an idea, I can... Let's go over here. I'll expand this a little bit. So I can just right click and build huge areas in a matter of no time. I do need to check, yeah. I'll probably use that for storage of the, uh... Oh, I'm gonna need to make a grinder to get, uh, mob acids. So I'll probably put a, uh, tank there and everything. Let's just go for it. Hopefully we'll get a... a stupid... blaze rod. And I want to grab a bucket of water, and I want to put that away, but I don't have room. Let's do that. Uh, we can come over here. Close enough for right now. Uh, before I forget, nope, cancel, cancel, map, waypoints, let's delete that. So off camera, I'm going to expand. Um, probably that way and I might even go up uh, typically I go down and eventually we will need to go down to the Y level 12 uh, but we'll see what we can do in the rest of this episode All right. Blaze. Uh, still nothing that's annoying. All right, though. Then the uh, that's out of lava. The uh, builder's one does use the cobblestone from your inventory, so it's really, really simple to make nice big areas. Um, so we'll do a lot of that stuff n another time. Right now, I think what I want to do is this blood alchemy. Um, so the we're gonna need redstone for this and glowstone, and I believe gunpowder is the last one. Which we have plenty of gunpowder. Um, so we need the simple catalyst. And that's sh and sugar, so it's we're gonna need two of these.
because I don't think I have to turn it in. No. So to make the weak binding agent, we need to have um, two simple catalysts and a piece of clay. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of clay. We're going to need two, two, two. And we're also going to need some sugar, which is pretty easy to get. Um, and the last thing we're going to need is some glass. Three glass will be enough. Um, and yeah, so let's give it a little blood. Uh, let's check and see where our so 2000. Um, so we only need 200 for this, so that would be easy enough. Um, we'll make the two simple catalysts, make sure it registers in our book. And then the weak binding agent takes a thousand, so we'll need to make sure we have enough. Oh uh, yeah, we do. So manual detect. Let's get this weak binding agent. And then we're gonna need the sacrificial orb and a glass bottle. So we're gonna put that in there. There's nothing in it. To get the potion flask, um, yeah, interesting. I didn't know about that. Uh, we need 2,000 life points in this. We have the tier 2 altar, so we just need to get 2,000 life points, so... Oh, I do not want that in there for right now. Because it's going to suck it up, and that's not good. So, I need to regen a little bit, and then... We'll make uh, let's put that there. All right. So there's two more. No. Oh. It's got a thousand in it. Um, while I'm waiting, might as well let's get some lava lava out of here. Uh, I want to expand. I would like to go down. So there is. While I'm waiting for my health regen. There's an angel block, which are really, really nice. It's just it's two feathers, a piece of obsidian, and a piece of gold. Which honestly I could probably make. Um you know what, let's go ahead and make one. And the reason I want to make one of these um, is because, well, actually, it's really cool. So I'm going to show you guys. If you guys don't, if you have never seen um, extra utilities, you might not know about the uh, the angel block. Gold, two feathers. Uh, do I have any feathers? No. Does not look like it, but I can make them, and I will in just a little bit. So, oh, sweet. And let's just top it off. Um, that will be the last thing we need to make once it's made, and then we can look into making feathers. I can't remember how to make feathers. Um, it's really simple though. I think it's just some arrows. So there's the potion flask, and it's empty. There's no effect to it. So if we want it to have an effect, we'll have to do something about that. But for the time being, I am not too too particularly concerned with the 
the effect. But I think I want to take both potions. Um, I'm looking specifically for one. So let's see. Visibility, fire resistance. Not what I wanted. Um, I can't remember if I, I have a potion of invisibility already. So I'm going to need to make um, the potion that I want, which kind of sucks. Because I cannot make it terribly well. Um, but first I need some feathers. And I think that is the ingredient I'm going to need. So it's just three. And... Or no, yeah, it's just three arrows and some life points. So let's make two. Uh, the potion that I want is flight. Um, you can get. Creative mode flight with blood magic. Um, not just throwing a whole bunch of life points to my stuff. There we go. Um, you can make potions of flight with uh, blood magic. And the whole point of it is I want to go down to the very bottom and place that. And as you can see, I can place it wherever um, in front of me, basically. So, and no matter what, it comes back into my inventory. It's a really neat block, and that's how I'm gonna basically I'm gonna dig straight down to the center, in the center of this, which is what about right here-ish. It's probably this torch. What I'm actually going to do is put a little X there so I. That's where my ladder is going to be. That goes all the way down. And yeah. So. I know that in order to make a potion of flight. it's a recipe in here so if I look at the hmm I, I think it's a feather that I'm gonna need but I, I didn't see anything So it, what it takes is these power catalysts, um, which I believe will give me the better, huh. I didn't know you could double your gunpowder. Um, the catalyst is what will give me the uh, What am I trying to say? The, the, uh, the time that I no power is not going to be what I want. I need lengthening, and I don't see. Oh hey, that's good to know. Yeah, so it's kind of complicated to make it. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But we got a little bit of that quest line done. So I guess for the time being, I'm going to expand that way. And I might even expand up until I can get a potion of flight. And let's do this for the fun of it. And heading not particularly what I wanted but eh, whatever but 
Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I know it's a little on the short side, but I need a little bit of time to prepare. And I think next time we're going to work on automation. And more specifically, we're going to start getting... Um, we're going to start automating the Crucible, which I guess we already did that one, but I thought there was another one. Um, we're going to be using the Fluid Ducks, and I want to pump this to, eventually it will be pumped to a tank, which we will make next time. And for that, I'm going to need some Obsidian. So I might actually just turn this back on to Obsidian and... Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, we still got a little bit of time. So, I am going to automate this. That is that is the point of Agrarian Skies, to be honest. But, um, for the time being, I'm just going to manually fill uh, that, uh, the, that igneous extruder with water and lava. And then once I have my setup, which I'm going to do that direction. Um, so if you got two, let's take it out of here. I don't want to wait too much. Um, I'm going to have automatic lava. I'm going to make a whole bunch of crucibles and a whole bunch of netherrack and we will we will be manufacturing a lot of lava for the magmatic engines and then um, a lot of other stuff for a lot of the uh, the 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 the, the the things that I want, the dust and the uh, gravel for this. And eventually I will make another autonomous activator. And I, I might make like four. So that I have two or three on each. Four or what, six in total. So I have two or three for each gravel and um, dust. So the tank is just, gl I need glass. Let's take that. Um, before I can make it, I'm going to need some panels. And this is the tanks. Open block tanks are probably the best, but the quest that I'm currently going to do requires a few other tanks, and it's in go with flow. Um, portable tank and a fluid tank. Uh, which I think they just take copper so if we just look up tank it's a fluid tank it's just glass copper and wood so we'll need to grab some wood uh, glass copper and wood uh, I've never really used those and then the portable tank is glass surrounded by copper. Well, copper surrounded by glass. And there's that. Um, magnesium dust. Let's see how hard that is to get. So magnesium dust is made in a vat with quick lime and water. Quick lime is crucible furnace of limestone. That seems a little complicated, but not terribly so. So I'm going to take my chances to go with the reward bag. There's that. Let's go ahead and fill these up more. And we do need another thing of lava. And we'll work on setting all this up in the next episode. Uh, 
Hey, I got another diamond. For right now, I want to just clear out my inventory a little bit. Let's just throw this stuff in here. So we can see what's in these reward bags. That's basic. That's kind of pointless. Um, the butterflies aren't fully implemented yet, so... And then... Lamp of Fertility. Ooh. That is very nice. I'm actually going to put this over here. Um, I think we have to... Feed it stuff. I don't know. Um... Since we have one, will it be in our Thaumonomicon? Uh, there's that. Let's find out real quick. Because what that will do is let us... Uh, it's Artifice. Artifice. Um, the Lamp of Fertility will let us... Uh, grow things a lot faster and I don't see it so it's probably still hidden until we research it and we'll do that another time that's gonna be a while from now but that is a really nice item um, kind of annoying to make so yay um, yeah so I have a lot of work to do off camera um, I think we just got another diamond. We did. Move all this stuff down here. And what I will probably do is just expand that direction. Make that, and I will expand downwards at another time. Uh, just to make things easier for myself. The potion of flight isn't terribly hard to make, but it's, I think at the basic level, it's only about a minute long and that's the problem so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do for sure but I'll figure it out and I'll have everything ready for the next time so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you then